Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Great Dane. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Great Dane Overview The Great Dane, also known as the German Mastiff or Deutsche Dog, is a breed of dog from Germany. The name of this breed can be a little bit confusing, since it can makes you think that it is a Danish dog. The ancestors of the Great Dane include British Mastiffs and possibly Irish Wolfhounds. The original purpose of the Great Dane was to hunt wild boars and protect the German nobility and its property. They were used to catch and hold the boar until the hunter arrived and killed it. When the hunting style changed, because of the firearms, they started losing their purpose. They are popular family companions for people who admire their regal appearance and affectionate personalities. First, let's have a look at the pros. Extremely loving, gentle and great with kids. Easy to maintain dogs with minimal grooming requirements. Protective over their owners and make a good guard dog. Make good companion pets for families with older children. Requires moderate exercise and gets along with other pets. They are protective but are not overly suspicious of strangers. Due to their soft and calm nature, Great Danes are relatively easy to train dog breed. They have an intimidating bark that can scare intruders. Despite their vast size, they are easy-going and soft-mannered dog breeds. It's now time to look at the cons. Their large size makes it unsuitable for apartment living. They have a shorter lifespan of 7 to 10 years. Can be highly destructive when left alone too often or for long periods. Sometimes they can become fearful or aggressive if not socialized enough. They drool a lot and susceptible to getting bloat which can be fatal. Vet bills are high, food prices are high, and grooming bills are high. Needs training from a very early age as they are difficult to manage once they attain full size. Interesting facts. The tallest dog that holds Guinness World Record is a Great Dane named Freddy, who is 7 feet 6 inches tall. The Great Dane is the official state dog of Pennsylvania, since it was a dog of the Pennsylvania founder, Mr. William Penn. The iconic Scooby-Doo character, designed by Iwao Takamoto, is a Great Dane. A fully grown Great Dane can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. In Walter Lantz's animated series, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, a Great Dane named Elmer was featured. McGruff the Crime Dog is a mascot of the U.S. National Crime Prevention Council. The list of famous people who owned a Great Dane includes Amy Winehouse, Jim Carrey, Bon Jovi, Wilt Chamberlain, and Bruce Lee. Appearance Males should be approximately 30 to 32 inches in height and 140 to 175 pounds. Females should be 28 to 30 inches at the shoulders and 110 to 140 pounds. Great Danes are available in six colors and color combinations, which are fawn, blue, black, brindle, harlequin and mantle. The newborn Dane weighs only something around one pound, but when they six month old, weigh up to 100 pounds. Young Great Dane reaches adult size at the age of two to three years. The average lifespan of a Great Dane is seven to 10 years while the small Chihuahua lives for up to 20 years. Grooming. Great Danes have a short coat that only requires a minimal amount of grooming to remain clean and neat looking. These canines only need weekly brushing of their coat so that extra loose hair can be removed. Their bathing needs are also very low and a bath once a month is more than enough for them. But it is important to properly clean their ears and eyes on a regular basis so as to avoid any infection. Their nails must be trimmed whenever it is necessary and their teeth should be brushed at least once or twice every week. Shedding. Great Danes are moderate shedders and mostly shed their fur on a seasonal basis. During the fall and spring season, these pooches can shed quiet heavily. But to control the shedding process, regular brushing of coat during this time is highly necessary for these canines. Cost. Great Danes can be a little expensive for some people to bring home. 
On average a Great Dane puppy will cost $1,000 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $500 and $1,800. The average price of a Great Dane puppy in India is around 30,000 to 45,000 rupees. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. Great Danes require a moderate amount of exercise on a daily basis to remain healthy and happy. They should be taken to long, slow-paced walks either in a park or in an open area, properly fenced. But it is very important to keep them on the leash. These pooches also enjoy playing loads of games with their loved ones, hence regular play sessions are must. It likes to sit on the couch and cuddle with its owners, which is why it is also known as the biggest lap dog in the world. They are very loyal and devoted canines who listen to their owner's commands very intently from their heart. These pooches love to learn new things from their owners and they always remain very attentive and responsive to any kind of training exercise. But don't forget about their origin, they are still hunters, so they will try to follow every interesting scent outdoors and you should have good fence around your property. But it is important to remember that these pooches should never be overexerted and their exercise sessions should always be avoided around their mealtimes as it can lead to a life-threatening disease called gastric dilatation and volvulus in these canines. Intelligence. Great Danes are fairly intelligent canines that have decent learning and thinking skills. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Coren, Great Dane is ranked 48. Understanding of new commands 25 to 40 repetitions and obeys first command 50% of the time or better. Swimming. Although Great Danes are not natural swimmers, some Danes do like to swim in a large water body. These pooches love to go to beaches and take a dip in the water and are happy to spend their time. Hence, before taking your Great Dane to a pool, just check whether he likes to get wet and he's comfortable around water. Barking. Great Danes are not excessive barkers. These pooches only use their voice when they want the attention of their family members or alert their loved ones. Apart from this, these pooches like to remain calm and quiet for most of the time. Weather and climate. Great Danes have an average tolerance to heat and high temperatures. These pooches can comfortably thrive in moderately hot areas where temperature mostly remains below 35 degrees Celsius. Exposing them to too much heat could lead to dehydration, sunburn, and in extreme cases, heat stroke. Remember, a Great Dane doesn't have any protective fur to keep them covered from heat. These canines have a subpar tolerance to cold. They are not highly suited for low temperature or extremely chilly areas, as their short coat doesn't provide a lot of protection to them. Exposing your dog to cold weather could put them at risk of weakened fur, chapped paws, frostbite, and irritated skin. These pooches are not highly recommended to those people who reside in snowy or immensely wintry areas. Friendliness. Great Danes are highly friendly and kind to small kids. They love to be around children of all ages and happy to play loads of games with them. Because of their sweet temperament and caring nature, they are rightly nicknamed as the gentle giant, most Danes are fairly warm and affectionate with other canines. They have no problem in mixing with other pooches and make new doggy friends without any issues. But still, proper training and early socialization are highly important for the Danes as it helps to make sociable with other canines. They are known to be fairly cordial and friendly with most of the other household pets including cats. If properly guided and introduced to a lot of different animals at a young age, happy to share their things such as their room and toys with other animals like cats. Generally Danes are fine with other people and they have no problem in getting along with new people. But to get the best results and to make these pooches more sociable with others, it is better to properly train and introduce them to a lot of different people when they are at the puppy stage. Once they start becoming mature, they will naturally become more friendly and affectionate with other people as well. Thus their behavior towards strangers is heavily dependent on their upbringing and training. Adaptability. Because of their large size, Danes do require a good amount of space for themselves as well moderate exercise requirement. Hence most Danes are not considered to be a great breed for the apartment lifestyle. 
but, if their exercise needs are properly fulfilled and consistently given a fair amount of space to stretch their body, then Great Danes can become a bit more adjustable and adaptable to the apartment lifestyle. They require a well-experienced owner that can efficiently raise them. These pooches have high feeding needs and handling requirements and thus, it can be a little overwhelming for a novice or first-time owner to properly raise and maintain. Hence, these pooches are mostly recommended to knowledgeable and skilled dog owners only. Great Danes may have a large size and a sturdily built body, but they are highly sensitive in nature. They cannot live all alone in the house without the presence and attention of their loved ones. These pooches can suffer from separation anxiety if they are continually left alone for long periods of time. This could prove to be highly damaging for their mental state and happiness as these canines can gradually become very sad, demotivated and frustrated. Guard, watchdog, Great Danes do possess an intimidating and domineering look that is fairly necessary to be a great guard dog. But most of these pooches don't have an aggressive side which is also highly important to become a good guarding canine. Hence, rather than considering a good guard dog, they should be rightly called as decent watchdogs. These pooches can effectively protect and look after their homes and property and can keep it safe by alerting their owners in case of an intruder or a trespasser. Drooling. Great Danes can drool a lot. These pooches mostly drool when they have their meal or when they want something to eat from their owners. It is also important to clean their mouth with a soft cloth after they are done with their food as it will help in preventing any skin issues around the mouth area. Health issues, the most common killer for Great Dane is gastric torsion, also known as canine bloat. This involves gas buildup and twisting of the stomach, a common health problem of giant breed dogs. Hip dysplasia is a chronic condition in which the head of the femur bone doesn't fit into the hip socket correctly. Cardiomyopathy causes the heart to enlarge and is most likely genetic. Tricuspid valve disease is a congenital condition where the heart valve doesn't function correctly. Have you had any experience with Great Dane? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.